I've been working together with John for 29 years. That's almost half my life. I've worked with John for more years than I spent living with my parents and my brothers. Wow. He's been a great partner, fun to work with, and always interesting in many ways. But one of the ways I find him most interesting is his use of language. I first became aware of this when a mom told me that she had asked him a question about breastfeeding, and he preceded his answer, apparently, with the phrase, well, anthropocentrically speaking. But it really caught my attention when some arcane words started to creep in. I was reading a progress note in a chart, and he had written something like, alas, the pneumonia has worsened. So, this got me to thinking, I wonder what it would be like if John could really unleash, if he could use language in a way that he would truly enjoy. So this is how I pictured John living in a world where he could really exploit these skills. This little piggy went to the market. This little piggy went home. This little piggy had roost. Good day, madam. Mm. Good day. Uh, good day, doctor. Oh, hello. Tell me, prithee, what troubles young Brooke of Queensbury? Uh, well, she seems to be having trouble urinating. Ah, to pee or not to pee, that is the question. Whether tis nobler in the groin, to suffer the stings and arrows of outrageous flow. Uh, that's very really poetic, Doctor, but I, you know, I'm really worried about her. It's been going on for two weeks now. Oh, a fortnight, you say? Uh, Egads. Oh, uh, I thought your office was using a computerized system now. Indeed. This quill serves me well. Okay. Nonetheless, madam, your daughter needs to be bled. And then perhaps some mercury. Oh, I'm, I'm not sure I'm very comfortable with that. The lady, perchance you wouldst have young Brooke of Queensbury shuffle off this mortal coil. Well, I mean, that's just it, Doctor. I'm worried about her mortal coil. Well, then we bleed her there. Oh. Um, you know, I, I really don't know about that. Wouldst thou spurn my goodly intent? Well, I, I don't really think we need to. Are you okay, Doctor? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Only my, my codpiece is a bit small. Oh, uh, all right, well, you know, I think maybe we should see Dr. Fuke. Forsooth, although he is full of mirth, he is not but a knave, or as he would say, a knave. I mean, I, I just think maybe he would do a urine test first, you know. <sighs> He's a swaggering rascal, a contemptible cullion. Nonetheless, as you will, hark, methinks I hear him. I haste thither. Come on, Brooke. Let's get out of here. You know, we had a lot of fun making this skit. In the first draft of the skit, though, I thought about having John say the phrase, Silence, wench! Just so I could use the word wench. But I changed it to milady, because that's not John. He's a good guy. He would never call a lady a wench. Although he might do this. But he is a good guy, and I will miss him. His patients will miss him. We will all miss him. John, I wish you a long and happy retirement. Keep having fun. And I hope if we ever have to call you up for advice, that you'll answer the phone. Well, there's our skit. As I said, we had a good time. And now, here's some bloopers and bleepers and outtakes that we did not include. I've been working together with John for 29 years, isn't it? John, please, just one more year. One more year, I'll take a pay cut. I'll, I'll do all your night call, please. Get out of here, Liam. You know, we really had a lot of fun making this skit. But, you know... 
John, if I was missing, I know you would find me. John, I don't know what we're going to do without you around. Things are going to be really difficult. I don't know what's going to happen. What are we going to do? John, I'm going to miss you. I love you, John. You're going to miss me. You're going to miss me when I'm gone. You're going to miss me, miss me, baby. You're going to miss me when I'm gone. You know your life's going to be so lonely, darling. And your day's gonna be so blue. You know you think not pretty, baby, you don't love me. But you just wait until I'm gone. You believe to yourself you don't love me. But you wait until I'm gone. You know the day that you don't see me, baby, I'm going to rest on, on your mind. You believe, darling, you don't love me. You don't miss your water till you well run dry, my say. You just wait and see, baby. Your night's gonna be so lonely, baby, and your day's gonna be so blue.